Epicus Impresa from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Current as of the 27th of July 2020. Epicus Impresa, also known as the common heath, is a plant of the heath family Ericaceae that is native to southeast Australia, that is, the states of Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia, and New South Wales. French botanist Jacques Liberadier collected the species in 1793 and described it in 1805. Four forms have been identified, but no subspecies are recognised. Growing in heathland, shrubland, or open forest, it is generally a small shrub around 0.5 to 1 metre, or 1 foot 8 inches to 3 foot 3 inches tall, with small stiff leaves, the red Pink or white tube-like flowers appear from late autumn to early spring. Honeybird eaters, particularly the eastern spinebill, feed upon the nectar of the flowers. It regenerates after bushfire by seed or re-sprouting. A highly regarded garden plant, the common heath was first cultivated in England in 1825. Over 70 named cultivars have been developed, most of which are now vanished. A pink flowered form, often referred to as pink heath, is the floral emblem of the state of Victoria. Epicris impresa has proven a difficult plant to propagate reliably, which has limited its use in horticulture and revegetation. It grows best in well-drained but moist soils in a semi-shaded position. Description Epicris impresa grows as a woody shrub with an erect habit, sometimes reaching 2 to 3 metres, or 6 foot 7 inches to 9 foot 10 inches in height, although plants in the range of 0.5 to 1 meter or 1 foot 8 inches to 3 foot 3 inches tall are more commonly observed. The branches are stiff and have small leaves with prickly pointed apses that are 8 to 16 millimeters or 3 eighths to 5 eighths inches long. The flowers mainly occur between late autumn and early spring arising in dense and sometimes pendulous clusters along the stems. White, pink or red in colour, they are 1 to 2 centimetres, 3 eighths or 3 fourths of an inch, and are narrow and tubular with 5 indentations on the base. The corolla of the flower is formed by 5 petals fused at the base to form a tube-like structure, with the free petal ends forming 5 lobes at the apex. There are five world sepals at the base of the corolla. Within the corolla, there's a central style that persists throughout the development of the fruit. The style connects a stigma at the apex and ovary at the base, where the nectar is also located. Different color forms are often observed growing near each other. The fruit is a five locule capsule that is about three to five millimeters or one eighth of an inch in diameter. It is globular in shape, sometimes with one end flattened. Initially green, it dries and splits, releasing numerous tiny seeds. Taxonomy The type specimen of the common heath was collected in 1793 by French botanist Jacques Libladier in Van Diemen's Land, now Tasmania, during a voyage with Antoine Bruna de (laughs) Antrecasse. Libeladier described in his 1805 work Nove Hollande Planetum Specimen, giving it, giving it its current name Epicris Impresa. The Latin specific epithet Impresa, meaning impressed or indented, alludes to the indentations on the floral tube. The original mounted specimen is currently held at the National Herbarium of Victoria at the Royal Botanical Gardens, Melbourne. A number of specimens once described as separate species are now regarded as Epicris impresa, with no recognised subspecies. Scottish botanist Robert Brown described Epicris russifolia in his 1810 work Prodromus Florae Novae Hollandae et Insulae van Diemen alongside Epicris impresa. John Lindley described Epicris tormentosa from plant specimens collected during the third expedition of Thomas Mitchell in 1838. 
Upon encountering Epicurus Impreza on Mount William in the Grampians, Mitchell remarked that it was a most beautiful downy bleaved Epicurus with large curved purple flowers allied to Epicurus grandiflora, but much handsomer. Dr. Robert Graham described Epicurus seriflora from plants cultivated at the Edinburgh Botanic Gardens in 1832. The seed had come from Tasmania, the resulting progeny flowering over April and May of 1832. A year later, he described Epicurus nivalis, which he called an exceedingly beautiful species, from specimen growing in Lodidge's nursery. He also noted a form with long corellas that had been called Epicus variabilis that was in cultivation at the time and noted that it was difficult to describe the precise characteristics that distinguished it from the aforementioned Epicus species. George Bentham, in his landmark paper Flora Australensis in 1869, argued that several previously described species were in fact a single species, Epicurus impresa, uniting Epicurus variabilis, a short red-flowered Epicurus campanulata, and Epicurus russifolia, which had narrow leaves and long flowers, the white-flowered Epicurus nivalis, and short white-flowered Epicurus seriflora. He reclassified as a separate species Epicurus reclinata. Several plants that Alan Cunningham had collected in the Blue Mountains and classified as Epicurus impresa. In the same work, Bentham named and described two naturally occurring varieties, Epicurus impresa variety Grandiflora and Epicurus impresa variety Ovata. Plant specimens designated as Grandiflora had been collected in the Wimmera, the Grampians, including those that were previously designated as Epicurus tormentosa, and at Stilwell in Victoria. Those classified as Ovada were collected at Twofold Bay and Mount Imlay in southeastern New South Wales, as well as Woolnorth and Rocky Cape in northern Tasmania. Bentham noted that although variable all forms had five impressed cavities outside, alternating with stamens immediately above the ovary. In his 1972 publication, A Handbook to Plants in Victoria, Australian botanist Jim Willis expressed his view that dividing the species into two subspecies was not feasible given that the common heath is highly variable in flower, colour and leaf shape, though he conceded that the Grampians race, Grandiflora, might be distinctive based on its larger corellas and coarser and hairier foliage. Currently, both Grandiflora and Ovada are regarded as synonyms of Epicurus impresa, rather than being classified as distinct varieties. The plant populations that best fit Bentham's original description of Grandiflora, also known as the Grampians Heath, occur naturally on sandstone at locations including Mount Zero, Mount Stapleton and the Black Range. Other nearby populations are regarded as having intermediate characteristics, including those in the Victorian Range and Mount Arapiles. Although not recognised in the Australian plant census, the variety is noted as rare on the advisory list of rare or threatened plants in Victoria, issued by the Department of Environment and Primary Industries. 2014. Variation in flower colour and length. In 1977, Helen Stace and Yvonne Fripp from La Trobe University studied 195 populations of Epicurus impresa in Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania and found that 120 consisted of mixed strands of two or more races, while 75 populations were of one race only. They identified four races based on the following corella characteristics. White flowered with a markedly shortened corella that is 9 to 12 millimeters or 3 eighths to 1 half in, of an inch long and red purple anthers, usually found in sites with greater sun exposure and occurring throughout the species range. This form is most widely distributed. Pink flowered with a longer corella that is 12 to 19 millimeters or 1 half to 3 quarters of an inch long and cream white anthers 
in more shaded sites. This form occurs throughout the species range. Fieldwork in Victoria and Tasmania found that pink flowered plants in mixed populations often have pink or red anthers. Long scarlet race with orange red flowers and a corolla 15 to 19 millimeters or 5 eighths to 3 quarters of an inch long and cream white anthers. Those from the granitic mountains of Wilson's Promontory near W Tree in East Gippsland in Victoria flower between April and November. Other localities where this race has been recorded include the Howe Ranges and Clyde Mountains in New South Wales. The Grandiflora race are broad pink or white and are from the Grampians and Mount Arapiles in Victoria. Plants of this race are taller, often reaching 2 metres or 6 foot 7 inches in height. White or pink coloured bear no relation to the corolla length. Plants from Mount Arapiles are always pink flowered. The long pink and short white races frequently occur in close proximity to each other. In these mixed populations, the former tend to flower in winter and the latter in spring. The question has been raised whether these different forms are becoming incompatible. However, controlled cross-pollination between plants with short and long corellas showed that there was no comp incompatibility between them. Pink flowering populations have a relatively distinct genetic makeup, whereas red or white flowering populations have more evidence sharing of genetic traits. Research based on DNA profiling has revealed substantial genetic diversity within and between flower color races and site populations. This has implications for vegetation projects in that provenance material needs to be collected from a wide geographic area to maintain this diversity. Distribution Epicris impresa is commonly found in coastal regions and nearby foothills, ranging from Kangaroo Island in the southern Mount Lofty Ranges in South Australia across to southern Victoria, extending to the Grampians and the Little Desert, and northwards to southern New South Wales as far as the Clyde River in the Budawang Range. It is also widespread in Tasmania. Plants are recorded at altitudes up to 1,200 metres or 3,900 foot at Mount Stradbroke and Mount Tingaringi in East Gippsland. The species grows in widely diverse habitats including sand and clay heathland, herbrich and heathy woodland, lowland and shrubby dry forests, riparian thickets, montane rocky shrubland and rocky outcrops. Ecology Honey eaters such as the eastern spinebill are attracted to the flowers. As the birds gather the nectar, the pollen, which has fins, attaches itself to the feathers of the heads of the birds and is carried to other flowers, aiding in cross-pollination. A study in the forest near Hobart in Tasmania found that the eastern spinebill arrived in the area at the same time the common heath was in flower in March and left once flowering had finished. Other honey eaters, such as the strong-billed, crescent and yellow-throated honey eaters, fed occasionally at common heath flowers. Fieldwork in the Mount Lofty Ranges in South Australia recorded the white-plumed and New Holland honey eaters as well as the crescent honey eaters and eastern spinebill. Insects recorded visiting white flowered plants include the Australian Painted Lady, Vanessa Kershawi, and Yellow Admiral, Vanessa Atier, as well as bees. Fieldwork in southern Tasmania showed that the introduced bumblebee, Bombus terrestris, sometimes robbed nectar by piercing the base of the tube. This then allowed honeybees, Apis mellifera, to retrieve nectar the same way. Epicris impresa is host to the scale insect Lycanodiaspis microcribraria. A field study on the invasion of the pathogen Phytophthora cinnamomi into the Brisbane Ranges National Park in Victoria in 1971 indicated that Epicris impresa was moderately susceptible to the pathogen. Inoculation of seedlings confirmed this. Fieldwork in the Brisbane Ranges National Park in 1985 showed that there was some evidence that Epicris impresa seedlings were able to recolonize areas that had been infested with 
Phyto Fortor Cinnamomi uh, a decade before. Epicris impresa regenerates after bushfire by seed and resprouting. Fieldwork in Heathland in the Otway Ranges in the years following 1983 Ash Wednesday bushfires showed that large numbers of Epicris impresa seedlings appeared in some areas and that flowering took place as early as the second year after the fire. The roots of Epicris impresa are colonized by fungi forming ericoid mycorrhiza. It is believed that the fungal species vary between regions. Cultivation Propagated from seed collected by William Baxter in southern Australia, common heath was introduced into cultivation in England by the Clapton Nursery in 1825. Due to frost tenderness, it was mostly restricted to greenhouse cultivation. In 1873, a variety known as Epicris Impresa Elba was recorded as being grown commercially for cut flowers in Boston in the United States. Whilst initially popular, over 70 cultivars have appeared in literature at the time. Most have since disappeared. Plants grow best in a moist but well-drained acidic soil, with added peat being helpful. They may be grown in coastal gardens in a sheltered position and generally require some degree of shade. Once established, plants can tolerate short dry spells. As they age, the plants become straggly but benefit from hard pruning after fertilizing and watering, which promotes compact, bushier growth. Common heath can be short-lived and difficult to transplant, though it can be readily grown as pot plant. Along with other members of the genus, Epicris impresa initially proved difficult to grow and maintain on original soil in the Australian National Botanic Gardens in Canberra. Propagation, both by seed and cuttings, is difficult, reducing potential production by plant nurseries. Germination rates of soil-stored seeds have been found to increase substantially with the application of heat and aqueous solutions of smoke. The most satisfactory results from cuttings can be achieved by using tip growth taken six weeks after the cessation of flowering and kept under a foggy system for 20 weeks. Plantsman Neil Marriott recommends semi-hardened cutting material taken in spring and autumn. Roots of cuttings are brittle and easily damaged. Cultivars. The following forms have been selected and grown for cultivation. Bigger. It is regarded as one of the more reliable forms in cultivation. White and pink flowered forms from the same region also have horticultural potential. Cranbourne bells and other double flowered forms. Cranbourne bells is a double flowered form with pink flowers buds fading to white as they open. Registered by the Australian Cultivar Registry Authority in 1988, it occurred naturally near the Royal Botanic Gardens Cranbourne in Victoria, but its habitat has since been cleared. A double flowered form of Epicris impresa was collected as early as the 1860s in Victoria when government botanist Ferdinand von Mueller sent a specimen to Kew Gardens. This was examined by botanist William Hemsley in 1865. The specimen, labelled Epicris impresa variety Pleniflora, originated from Storwell in western Victoria. Another specimen, given the same name by Mueller, was collected at Nunawading, today a suburb of Melbourne. Charles French, co-founder of the Fields Naturalist Club of Victoria, collected a white double-flowered form from Cheltenham south of Melbourne in 1859 and a pink double-flowered form from Dramana on the Mornington Peninsula in about 1862. These were later sent as rooted cuttings to Vietch. Nurseries in England. Double flowered forms of various colours have since been found throughout Victoria, but only single plants have been observed in any location and they are still regarded as a rarity. A naturally occurring form of the variety Grandiflora with rosebud like double flowers is also grown. Spring pink. A form with deep pink flowers on long spikes. Spring pink appears in spring, it grows to 60 centimetres or two foot high. Floral Emblem of Victoria At a meeting of representatives of government and other bodies in 1951, it was agreed that the pink form of the common heath, the pink heath, 
be adopted as the official floral emblem for the state of Victoria. Victoria was the first Australian state to adopt a floral emblem. The proclamation made on the 11th of November 1958 by Governor Dallas Brooks was as follows. I, the Governor of the State of Victoria in the Commonwealth of Australia, by and with the advice of the Executive Council of the said state, do, by this proclamation, declare that the pink form of the common heath, Epicris Impresa, be adopted as a floral emblem for the State of Victoria. An Australian stamp issue of the state floral emblems was issued in 1968, including the pink heath, which was featured on the 13 cent stamp. In 2014, a 70 cent stamp labelled as common heath was issued. The pink heath is also depicted on the Victorian driver's licence. In 1973, a depiction of the pink heath was added to the armorial bearings for Victoria. See also Erica hyphen African European heath species. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU free documentation license.